So I have switches. And I have key cup. Logging stream. Oh yeah, chat. Uh, I'm kind of surprised, it, but yeah, that chat, those chat messages are still kind of here. Yeah, I started Kick and YouTube stream. Both are kind of going, basically pick your poison, whatever you like best. So yeah, switches are drawn pink. Those are. Those are, uh, I think those are linear. Trying to find when it is written. Blah, blah, blah. Trigger force, travel. Uh, I don't know, I do not see. It should be somewhere on that box, but I have some kind of blindness and do not see it now. Hey, Vadim. Yeah, YouTube is as well, yeah, here. So, nice and pink switches. Let's test how they sound, should we? Do we have something? Nice, maybe. Oh, I totally forgot, I bu I'm building keyboards. Maybe I will need screwdriver as well, right? So, switches are pink, how they sound? Sound is actually sounds actually decent. Yeah, but the new keyboards again. <laughs> hey Vladislav. Okay, we will need switches later. Later, let's move that away. So keycaps. Let's check how those looks like. I didn't open anything. I just didn't have time for that. I got it delivered last week. Actually, that looks quite nice. Yeah, Vadim, never enough, never enough. Actually, it looks it looks nice. It's uh, a little bit uh, kind of childish, but I think kind of nice childish colors. I will say fun colors, not kind of Childish, childish, but childish, childish fun and nice colors. Yeah, hello again, the Paul King. Okay, we will need that also later and... The big box. So, instruction, that's good, maybe we'll need that. Maybe we will need that. Okay. Oh, it actually looks super nice. I don't know how much we will need. Oh, actually there are stabilizers already installed. I'm not mad at all. I remember how much it, how much time it was last time to install those stabilizers. Actually, it seems already assembled. I'm. I don't mind this at all. That's fine. And it looks quite nice. Check out on that camera. So then we maybe will be able to do that in about an hour as I would like to. Because last time the build was, I don't know, about three hours, something like that. It was way too long so that's how it looks it's kind of split ergonomic layout i don't know how ergonomic it is another usb c to usb a cable mm. oh, actually let me change music a little bit that's a bit too sleepy. Okay, instruction. 
I can help you if you need to get off from some keyboard, send it to me. <laughs> um, yeah, but actually jokes aside, uh, I don't mind to send keyboards, but the problem with sending is when I'm sending keyboards to someone, the shipping costs are crazy. Uh, I did giveaway for MX Keys keyboard and I had to send it to uh, Sweden and that was something like 19 euros, that's fine. But uh, then I did give away for another keyboard, which was about 200 euros keyboard. And I wanted to send it to the winner. That wasn't possible. He was living, he is living in Ukraine, in a very small village. And basically that wasn't an option. Just that wasn't possible to send it. So I tried to buy a keyboard for that guy in local stores, but then I wasn't able to pay with my credit card and we ended by him kind of making he created paypal account and i just sent 200 200 uh, bucks to him and that was it so that's crazy logistics are crazy oh hey ben hello what switches i'm using so i'm using those apple maker oh wrong camera here we go uh drawn pink custom switches. I think those are linear. Address. To be frank, Apple Maker sent to me them and I didn't. Yeah, I don't see where it is written. It should be somewhere here. Mechanical switches. I don't know. I, I assume those are linear switches, but I'm not sure. Yeah. And yeah, keyboard. I don't know. This will be my first experience with ergonomic mechanical keyboard. I don't know how that will go. I will cover this uh, delivery cost. Yeah, sending to Omni or PDF, uh, PDF, DPD in Baltics is not so expensive. You're right. Yeah. Okay, it seems that actually i don't need to do anything for the case i can just kind of put in switches the board looks nice oh sign i have one screw in can you see that there is one kind of loose screw inside how it get here how it got here From where? Okay, let's say that's tomorrow's average problem, not today. I'm not going to open it to just get that screw out. It should be fine though. <laughs> Down here. Not familiar with pinks. I recent recently got Voyager with Kalich Chalk Whites. Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with Apple Maker switches as well. I because you know those all the companies making their own switches, not all, but many of them making their own versions of, for switches. And yeah, okay. It seems that it will be relatively easy. We can start to put switches on place, and that's it. <laughs> Okay, I don't mind it at all, because with previous D keyboard build we spent a shitload of time on <laughs> stabilizers. Let me know, I'm still using the Magic Keyboard. Magic Keyboard is not bad. I gifted uh, away two keyboards to my local programmer friends who are living next to me. And but I'm scared already to know, you know, it's kind of, it doesn't feel fire if I will do away keyboard to someone, just I don't know, except folks, but <laughs> just, 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 I don't know by sending it, but, uh, But um, 
I'm kind of scared now to make uh, those so named giveaways because yeah if you will if winner will be I don't know for some far away place in the world it's it's very tricky to get delivered that thing therefore software giveaways are way better in one video I did giveaway from App Store optimization tool that try Astro and for my own course and that was easy peasy you just you know pick five winners send licenses to them and that's done you know the watch looks really nice yeah thank you it's it fits really well I like the size I am really happy with it the size is perfect I have I have Apple Watch 6 right next here. Let me give, give me a chance to grab it. Okay, here it is. Apple Watch 6 is kind of smallish. It was, I don't know, it's okay, but feels a little bit kind of too small on the hand that Apple Watch Ultra feels perfect. I like it. I really like it. We'll see what I will say, I don't know, in a year and two of using it, but so far, first impressions, I'm happy, happy user. <laughs> it's okay if you don't send me a keyboard, just suggest one with nice poppy sound. Um, not expensive. Apple makers are not expensive. I'm not big fan of um, key, Keychron keyboards. You know, those are very popular. You can see all around the internet, but I don't like those Keychrons. Maybe just because I bought one and I wasn't happy with quality. I don't know, maybe they have better keyboards as well, but that one wasn't good. And uh, it wasn't expensive. It was Keychron. Uh, key 6 and I paid something like 80 euros something like that for it but that keyboard really wasn't wasn't too great is it ultra version 2 yes it is it is ultra version 2 uh, on Friday it was f the first day of sales here in Latvia and I bought it on Friday on another on live stream <laughs> on friday's live stream i was kind of on the beginning of live stream i was oh i'm not buying it then in the middle i was kind of uh, actually it's looking great and if i will get tax back because i'm buying for company it is not it is not too expensive and yeah in the middle of the live stream i already kind of ordered it and i got it on monday's night so quite fast surprisingly fast delivery for latvia i will say i just assume those uh, apple watches are not uh, most popular kind of products i ordered iphone pro max for my wife and i assume i will have to wait them i don't know until Mm, I would say November probably. Hey Gerson, your content remind, reminded me that long term is always worth it. If shortcuts work it, they will be path. Your example makes me proud. Cheers from Brazil. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, there was saying, I think that was said by Bill Gates. Basically, he said that um, we are overestimate what we can do in short term, but underestimate what we can do in long term. And I kind of believe yeah, into that because usually we have, I don't know, we have huge 
plans for i don't know for next week or this week basically yeah we have high expectations for a week or for months what we will do but when we are planning on long term in five ten years we just can't imagine what we can do in five ten years basically if i'm looking back to myself ten years back i don't know if i will say that i will kind of be kind of my current self and then live my current life i will not i will not believe i, I generally i will not believe that will happen so i kind of i kind of wanted to build mobile apps and i kind of wanted to make money from those and i don't know something like working fully remotely travel when you want where you want i don't know that was all of that just i don't know that will be Okay, I will never believe it is really possible. Where you can buy code cap. Uh, you are, I don't know, about a year too late. It was merch and I, I'm not selling it anymore, but I don't know, probably I will do new drops for those because yeah, those are out of the stock. I should update designs, I should order them. Maybe I will do, I don't know. Don't cut yourself in the stream. Yeah, I will try. At least I will do that on camera, you know. And we will have some kind of show. Better than do that, that offline when no one is watching, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and those are linear switches, but I don't know why it is not written on box. I like linear switches. I don't like uh, too light linear switches, and those feels nice. What is pressure? 43. Bottom force 43 grams. Yeah, it's fine. Those are not too light, because you, if you have very light switches it's i don't know it feels that they are kind of you are kind of afraid to touch the buttons because they are register the touch already as as click 40 to 50 is i don't know my comfort zone for linear switches 40 to 50 grams lighter that's too li light Uh, Vladislav has got one year ago and like a lot want to get new one so yeah yeah I, I removed them from sale but yeah probably I will probably I will keep that in mind maybe we will have them someday later Okay, we are close to the keycaps. Seems that I will be able to build <laughs> it in record time because <laughs> we don't need to spend time on the on the board itself. When I started to play around with mechanical keyboards, I was kind of a little bit on hype and I was think thinking, oh, I will kind of do all that key, cap uh, key switch looping, you know, all that stuff. I even bought the, all the tools that station to loop, uh, switch opener, what else not. But I didn't that. I didn't do that a single time because I don't know it's kind of too much hustle and yeah always always there is a problem you know time is the limit you have to choose what to do and it's kind of cool to put together a keyboard but also I don't want to spend I don't know three days on that. 
Okay, nice. We go. Almost full box of backup switches. I always look for Aura ring when see your rings. Ah, uh, no, those are just kind of regular rings. That is very Latvian thing. This is very Latvian thing. That is just um, a ring what you get when you marry. And this is kind of a little bit more kind of fancy schwancy ring. Uh, I was thinking about getting that Aura ring, but I was told that uh, Apple Watch actually registers sleep, uh, tracking sleep very well and you don't really kind of need it if you have an Apple Watch. Okay, we have kind of picture where keys are going F1, F2, F3. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's try to add those keycaps. I definitely will have some spar F keys, as I can see. There are plenty of them. Oh, those colors are super cute. The, some puffs here. Nice. Enter, shift, control, shift. Okay, we need that type of enter. Okay, I will start with that. With this box. Okay, F keys are going here. It sounds decently well. I'll say nothing crazy. Not bad, not not super cool. How that is going? It's tilled. It should go here, probably. Yeah. It's raw. Oh, it's so hard to get them out. Whatever. Let's go. It's starting to look like keyboard. Comfortable will be right on those keyboards. Let's see. But maybe that will help me to fix my bad typing habits. Because I'm kind of hitting wrong keyboards with uh, wrong keys. No, I'm an another way. I'm hitting keys with wrong fingers. That's how, how to say that. <laughs> Basically, if I'm if if I'm supposed to type on this side, I'm kind of jumping over. How fast I'm typing? Uh, I'm very slow typer. I don't know. I'm I'm typing very very bad. Uh, something like in a range, let's say, thirty words per no thirty not words but. Yeah, that words. Yeah, words per minute. Yeah, it's it's counting in words. When I did those tests, the, those were something around 30 words per minute. I know that. I know that good typing speed is around 100. So I don't know. I'm typing very very bad, very slow. I should probably kind of train to type faster, but I never do that actually I kind of tried kind of few times basically s to kind of teach myself type faster but eh. 
Voyager would help with that. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, sure. It always feels like you just need to buy another keyboard, you know, to type better, faster, or something like that. For programming, it's not really a problem, as you know, because I don't know. It's it's fine if you are typing slow when you are doing programming, but when I'm creating content, I'm writing, let's say some, sometimes I'm writing scripts for YouTube, sometimes I'm just writing some uh, ideas down, I don't know, sometimes that is later becomes, I don't know, what else, newsletter, tweets, stuff like that. I'm lately starting to type write more and more and more and now I feel how that slow typing becomes kind of more and more annoying. Uh, it, it kind of starts to, I don't know, it doesn't really kind of annoys me, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely is kind of a problem that slows me down. I could kind of work faster, I could write more, I could do not care about typing for programming, but all that other kind of work that I do, yes, that kind of makes difference. 100 is about my speed. And I drop it to 15 today, I opened my Voyager. Now I'm back to 80 or so, yeah. Uh, typing symbols for coding, it's much slower, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. You are kind of typing symbols. That's one thing. Then you are kind of uh, then you have plenty of autocomplete stuff. Then you just kind of th more kind of maybe thinking than writing. I don't know. Today I spent all the work day fighting with one bug in uh, collection view. I didn't solve it. I tried kind of different approaches, but basically that's kind of all the debugging, trying another thing, kind of thinking what else you can do, trying that, all again kind of running, trying to catch that bug in runtime because it happens only in runtime in once in, and once in a while. So in days like that, typing speed kind of changes nothing. But in days when I am kind of more, not programmer, but kind of content creator, then yeah, I feel, I feel how that slow typing speed slows me down. I don't remember, but I can go to that monkey, what, what was that? Or monkey typing something. There should be stats, but I think I didn't reach 40, and that was something below 30, so very slow. Actually that keyboard looks really nice, I like how it looks. So yeah, today I was I was half dead at the end of the year, at the day, because you know when you are kind of fighting all day long with bug and can't kind of fix it. I optimized it, there was code where data is fetched from backend, that was from 2019, the developer who made it doesn't work here anymore. I made that work faster, I kind of um, fixed a few bugs in that code, basically there was user interface update before fetch request um, callback, before callback come back. And basically you are updating user interface with a uh, kind of assumption that that callback answer will be true. And if it comes back like false, then you kind of updating user interface again. That's kind of simplified way to explain that. But uh, yeah, I fixed that. I improved that fetching speed all the stuff and basically just for nothing that bug that user interface bug is still there and user interface bug is basically in collection view of the button 
and I don't know how that happens. Not like Shadow, but I don't know, that like Black Square. I don't know what's going on there. And yeah, typing speed will not help there at all. <laughs> but um, Oh really? How is that? Here is an example that are B and B twice B. Really? I do not believe into that. That should not be so. Okay, maybe let's try to go from this side. Shift arrow up. So yeah, I, I, I finished the day half dead and then I walk. Then I went out for about three, four kilometers walk with my dog, came back, felt a bit better and decided that, yeah, why do not build that keyboard? And I had an idea how to try to fix that bug tomorrow. But yeah, typing speed, my typing speed is this power here. Oh, there are blue, so blue as well. I will go with blue. It's, that's pink power feels just a little bit, little bit, little bit too childish. Blue will look fine. It's a pinkish kind of, just a little bit too much. Little bit, little bit. Yeah, perhaps this keyboard is going to my daughter. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, which one is which now? So... This could be bottom, bottom. This could be no. Wrong. Do you th think she can type on it? Ah. Uh, to be frank, you will be surprised at how little nowadays kids are typing because all the communications happens mostly on on mobile so i don't know maybe but she will definitely will, would like to have it like accessoire okay that sounds nice i like it so on the left we have control that could be cool if it if this one fits here but it doesn't we need smaller control mm, smaller than this do we have smaller as well yeah we have tiny control okay this will work Anything from here? Yes, those are also now that's up. Also, I need small shift here. Will this work? Nope. This one? Yeah, no. Still too big. Yeah, that, that's too big. Feet. Too many flowers. Ok, 
Okay, this should be question mark. Yeah, indeed, seems that there are two B buttons. I don't know why. Definitely B is not muse is not most used <laughs> button in the keyboard. How that comes? Really? Another B? Just to look symmetrical, maybe. Let's put sun here or something, you know. That's too big. Okay, so this will be control again. If you have space for bigger control here, let's try this one. Yeah, this one will fit. Nice. Yeah, that's very strange that we have another B here. I don't know. That's super weird, I don't know why, because B should be on right hand, and on left hand, let me, yeah, yeah, that looks correct, question mark, arrows, not arrows, but those things, and yeah, B is here, Z, X, yeah, it's, it's weird, it's, it's strange. Because when I type G, yes, I'm hitting N, that's correct, and there we have B, yeah, B is kind of harder to reach, yeah, that's correct, I don't know, very strange. I think you are supposed to use left hand to be. Yeah, it is correct, but we have one kind of spot left here. I don't know for what. So, okie dokie, we need. We need those smaller space bars. Okay, seems that this one could work here. This alt is going here. Nice. So X Mars, hello. Looks good. We'll see how the writing goes. Best way to shorten the evening brushing the assembly for a keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Writing, yeah, do not be too excited about my writing because my writing skills are horribly bad. This alt probably is too big. Okay, so we will go with this smallish space here. And then function. Do -do -do, page down. Do I have any function button? Probably I don't. Alt control menu smallish alt is going come on smallish alt is going here so okay 
also too big. So we need regular size button there. This one will work, of course, but that's just a little bit too big for here, for this place. That actually could be great for escape. That's in the right size to be escape. Come on. Come out from there. Hello, Watch Ultra looks great. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I like it. I like it very much. Probably that's my gift to myself to, on, to my, on my birthday, which is coming soon in November. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's add super button here. That will fit. Function. And I don't know. This B button here is very weird. I will add menu button here. Um, I hope it is possible to do some programming for that keyboard to change something, then we can program it for something. I don't know yet for what. Okay, let's try to turn it on to see what will happen. Will my computer explode or something? Oh, screen just blinked. But, oh. Oh, that actually looks really cool. That looks really nice, actually. I like it. Uh, let me make... Let's make it darker here. Check out those colors. I don't know how typing will be on it, but that uh, acrylic base and that RGB kind of looks really, really cool. Proof newspaper, big expl explosion, explosion in Latvia, <laughs> explosion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Provide data about this keyboard. Continue. So shift and this was shift as well, right? Yes. And see USA. Yeah, probably you're right. And let's open something like. Okay. Yeah, that where to have escape on the. On the, on the right, it's very weird. I, I just hit F1 for escape. Let's try, does it right? Actually, yeah, that works. And indeed, those are two B buttons. <laughs> That's very weird. That's very weird. Okay. Let's try that. How it was that? Monkey typing, monkey what? Monkey. Monkey, monkey type. Okay, let's say for excuse I have camera in front of me. I do not see big part of the screen. Ah. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that Yo. Actually it's um, less worse than I expected, but actually it's not so bad. It's bad, but uh, <laughs> my typing is bad. Not keyboard. Come on. And it sounds also well. It's it sounds good. I like it. Uh, 
No. Oh, nice. <laughs> 16 volt accuracy, 77%. Yeah, but whatever, that's how bad I'm typing. But, uh, I don't know, that's, that keyboard is kind of uh, fun. I like it. First impressions. I like it. Those two B, that's very strange decision. I assume that is basically just, uh, I don't know, they didn't come up with better kind of layout for that's those split kind of keyboards. super cool <laughs> yeah that's the right question am i building keyboard for my daughter it looks like so you know because it's very kind of girlish keyboard it looks nice but it's kind of very girlish but uh, i kind of like the split layout and writing on it is nice as well i think i will use it for a bit but uh, yeah Perhaps, most likely, just going to my daughter's room. And the keyboard is for typing. Probably, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not the best person to test keyboards on typing speed, but it looks super cool. That um, acrylic bottom with RGB lighting works very well together. Like it. Oh, interesting how long how long it took oh it was less than an hour 50 minutes we are 50 minutes now in, in the stream it's not bad actually i built it surprisingly fast didn't expect didn't expect that i expected that will be i don't know a few hours of the of the work but yeah looks really nice hope you will enjoy using it yeah i will use it for sure for at least few days just to play around with it i have another split keyboard but uh, i didn't learn to type on that yet and mm, yeah that's totally different feeling of the keyboard this actually look feels better than that one i have Microsoft Sculpt, <laughs> I have it, uh, but my Microsoft Sculpt is, I don't know, 10 years old. Let me grab my two split keyboards, I will show them to you. Microsoft Sculpt that looks like this one. This keyboard is, it is nice, but but this keyboard is super old already. As you may see, it's kind of falling apart already, and I don't know. And that is not, and that is mechanical keyboard. It's not fancy enough, you know. <laughs> I kind of like, I kind of like mechanical keyboards now. But this one is cool. I bought it uh, many years ago when I had problems with hands. I had kind of slight RSI kind of issue, RSI feeling. But yeah, it's already, it's, it is looking, it is looking gross already. This one is already kind of falling apart. But I don't know, for some reason I didn't throw it out yet. Maybe just in case if I will have if I will feel some RSI issues again. And another one that I have is this one. Split keyboard. It is kind of looking nice, but um, I don't know. The typing on it is uh, less comfortable than I expected. And uh, yeah, I don't know. 
probably I would like to change switches and keycaps on it. But uh, generally it's, I don't know, yeah, it's cool, but I am I have to kind of learn to type on it, that's one thing. And I am less excited about it as I expected. I will say like that. This one, I kind of like typing on it, that Alice keyboard, this is Alice layout. I like that uh, typing on it immediately out of the box. This one kind of, I don't know, I have to push myself to use it. But yeah, this keyboard is supposed that I am kind of planning to try to use it to learn the touch typing because I am kind of still kind of looking onto keyboard time to time. Here there is no reason to look on it because there are no legend on switches. So that's that. Don't fly yourself, it's all about RGB lights. Yes, probably you are right. <laughs> Why don't you restream on Twitch? Uh, usually I restreaming on Twitch everything what is, uh, not everything, but uh, usually I am restreaming on Twitch uh, programming streams when I'm doing programming. So, yeah. That one key on left from N is not correct. I don't have second B cap. No, that's that's why I have that uh, menu thing. One of first engineering managers said that it doesn't matter how fast you type because when you are programming, you should think two three times before writing code. Uh, yeah, that's my excuse as well. <laughs> It's uh, kind of, it's kind of, yeah, I, I am kind of using that as excuse, but uh, in reality, you kind of, you know, we are writing emails, we are writing documentation, what else not? It's, nowadays it is, writing is still kind of a very important part of communication, even if we are looking into, you know, uh, that all those, um, all the other media, I don't know, video, audio, all of that is presented for content. But writing still is very, very important and that will be so. Let me zoom in a little bit. So yeah, I do not expect that writing is going away anytime soon. Uh, my excuse, yeah, is the same, but you already said that, yeah, basically, when you are programming, uh, typing fast is not important. Also, I know that uh, many, that in America, probably in US, it, uh, that in US, there are kind of typing lessons in school and in, kids are kind of learning that in school. I didn't have that. That's my kind of another excuse. So basically I have to spend time to that no and then you know i don't know you are busy all day every day and setting kind of time just for kind of exercises for writing it kind of doesn't feel that it doesn't make sense because you have to kind of do real work and then when i'm typing for real work then i'm again kind of not typing properly but kind of looking on the keyboard time to time, so my speed never kind of increases. Most importantly, please tell how does it feel to type messages on the Apple Watch Ultra. It is possible, let's say so, I tried it and I. it is possible to write, yeah. It's not very comfortable, but seems that also Apple kind of trying to guess what word you are trying to right and kind of adjust your taps accordingly basically when you are kind of tapping those letters the keyboard is very small but somehow i managed to write the messages even with my sausage fingers 
me double check. Don't we really have another B? Oh, Fox. I was wrong. We have another B in another kind of part of the box. I found it. We have another B. I don't know. It's still kind of strange keyboard with those two Bs, but I think that looks that will look better. Hey Axel, hello. Just ordered a Apple Watch Ultra One for 850 euros. I ordered it for. <laughs> yeah, good that you are here. I ordered it. Uh, let me check. Let me check my invoice. Um, I ordered. I paid nine hundred nine euros, but something from that was delivery. Yeah. 8 euros 26 cents was delivery so basically i'm paying 751 euros is kind of price and 157 from that is tax so i will get that tax back and yeah that basically at the end of the day it will cost me 751 euro But um, yeah, the difference is not so big. I don't know what, what was the difference. I already forgot between Apple Watch Ultra 1 and 2. There was that sensor that you can find your phone, which is not working yet. And also that kind of that DAP registration, which, which you already can enable as accessibility, uh, access, access, whatever, that you already can enable that as a feature on current watches. So that's, I don't know, that's strange. The difference is very minor, a little bit brighter screen, stuff like that. So I don't know. I just, because I bought, how did I get Apple Ultra so cheap? Thousand euros plus in Apple. It is not so expensive. Yeah, I will deduct taxes, but it's not, it is not thousand. It is uh, ideal. So I bought it here. Watch. Watch, watch, watch. Here it is. Apple Watch Ultra. Lost it. I will remove this camera. It is right in my face. I do I do not see a shit. Let me disconnect that camera. Hopefully OBS will not become angry. Apple Watch Ultra. So that's previous generation, 789 euros. Uh, Apple Watch Ultra is 899. So I bought ocean, ba ocean band orange. Yeah, it's 899. And the tax was, I don't remember how much I said, something like 150. Okay, they already kind of sold out, uh, but it is available in one of the shop, but all, the, all of the rest shops are one to two weeks. So I kind of luckily got one from first batch. Okay, those are not available already. Okay, you can find something. Basically, it depends on band that you like. Ocean band blue is kind of available. You can buy. So orange looks kind of popular. White is not available at all, and so on and so on. So, yeah, they are not cheap, but it's not, it's not a thousand, it's less, it's less than 900. Hey, Heasley, hello. I'm doing great. We just 
finish at keyboard build and yeah perhaps soonish I will I will kind of clean my desk and go and will go to sleep to go back and fight that <laughs> uh, UI kit bag bug tomorrow again oh wait a minute does it does this camera works oh it doesn't okay I was curious is it works kind of disconnected as well because I see that webcam is kind of uh, webcam, webcam mode is still active on on GoPro come on turn off what you are saying to me it's kind of weird it doesn't turn off Okay, what will you do if I will remove battery? <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right. I don't know, yeah, Log Logitech, why I'm saying Logitech all the time? Those uh, GoPro cameras, it is my very first GoPro camera. I didn't buy any of them before. And I'm super surprised at how about their choices of uh, software kind of development and generally about product i expected kind of a little bit better and smarter product as it than it is that is great price yeah that ideal ideal is a premium reseller here locally and uh, yeah i was really happy with my first purchase and i am planning to kind of keep using them for other uh, purchases as well actually they have interesting it's not sponsored or something don't think so i just used them first time and i'm just very happy about my first experience but yeah they have interesting kind of service that if you are buying was it that smart deal yeah basically you can like rent a laptop as a service basically you're choosing laptop and replacing it every 24 months i don't know maybe i will do that i will think about that when next laptop will come out but basically if you are going for mac let's go i don't know MacBook Pro 14 inch M2. Where is buy button? Where is the buy button? Mac. Where I live, it costs 989. Yeah, that's crazy expensive. It. I somehow feel that previous generation was more expensive as well, but it is a little bit cheaper now. But I don't know. I may I may be wrong. Okay, here it is. Let's say MacBook Pro M2 Max International Keyboard, and so basically it kind of costs whatever it costs, close to four thousand. But they have that kind of smart deal thing. And you are buying it for 24 months, for example, and then you are paying that amount of money. And that is not lease. Basically, you are kind of. How much it is? 24. Okay, I, don't, I can't use keyboard anymore. Okay, 24. Multiply to 134. Mm. Okay, you are kind of saving 600 euros only. Not big deal. But yeah, but basically you are kind of paying those uh, 24 months that amount of money. You don't need to pay all the money upfront. And then you basically giving that laptop back at the end of those two years and just getting next one and, and basically using that like a service. If you are, if you are business, it is relatively... Uh, it's it's kind of relatively easy because you can just write it down immediately as business expense if you are buying something for 4,000 euros 
uh, one thing basically you have to have all that money up front mm, usually it's not a big problem for business but anyways you have to pay all that money up front and also then you have to kind of take onto your kind of um, budget basically as company kind of thing and then you have to kind of keep and amortize it for about five years to write it down and for a laptop five years that's crazy amount of time you know but uh, in this way basically you can just kind of keep paying that those hundred whatever depends on model that you choose you can keep paying that money and basically just replace uh, devices every two years and i think that's every two three years that's very nice time for upgrade for upgrade for computer because longer it is already kind of tricky but yeah depends on budget and depends on tasks that you are doing but that's kind of interesting yeah service what they come up with i don't know what will i do when m3 max will come out probably i will just kind of buy it but because then you saw how the device for sale and all that stuff and you can give it away to family members but that's kind of interesting options that they have okay so that's enough talking about macbooks which are not released yet <laughs> We'll see which keyboard I will choose tomorrow for writing. Generally, I am happy with this keyboard. It looks super cool. Keycaps a little bit kind of childish, probably. So that's more for my daughter than for me. But it's it's really it's it's it is looking looking good. I like this keyboard, and it feels good writing on it. Okay, let's wrap up stream. Uh, when I will stream next time? That will be next week. Again programming stream no stream on this weekend because i'm traveling and i will be back on monday and then we will see uh, when when we will have next programming stream okay thank you youtube bye bye